Continuing our quest to introduce you to some hidden gems from independent watchmakers, we are chuffed today to have the opportunity to review a true piece of haute horologie from Langenheiner. This boutique manufacturer is based in Dresden, Germany. Once known as the Florence on the Elbe River, Dresden has a long history connected to art, culture and genteel society. Although Langenheiner, the company, has only been around for a couple of decades, the heritage of this brand is stellar. With a strong emphasis on exquisite quality, hand craftsmanship and precise attention to detail, the horological masterpieces it creates are amongst the best in the world. Therefore, it is an absolute privilege to be able to review the beautiful Friedrich III for you today. Before we delve in though, it is worth mentioning the gorgeous presentation case that Lang and Heiner house each of their watches in. Made from locally sourced, sustainable cherry and plum heartwood, no expense has been spared. It really should be thought of as a handcrafted jewellery chest, rather than a throwaway watch box. It's just something we wanted to point out, because these days you don't see so many watch companies exhibit this level of commitment to handcrafted wood turning, and both of these woods are quite special. But we are here today to see this beauty, Friedrich III with a small second indication. The model we have is housed in a solid 18 karat gold case. Langenheiner refers to it as rose gold, but this reflects the European concept of rose gold, which is slightly less red or rosy in hue. Either way, it is subtle and lends itself to the polished rounded case and trilog form. Just a quick side point about the lugs on Langenheiner watches. While the additional centre lug may make band changes a little more fiddly, take it from us, it's worth it in the long run. The third prong not only adds stability and security, it also ensures the band and pins take pressure evenly during wear. Anyone who's ever dropped their watch as the result of a worn or slip pin will appreciate this thoughtful consideration on Langenheiner's part. While we're talking about thoughtful additions, it's worth mentioning the crown protection and fine bezel design, which have both been constructed with the wearer in mind. Streamlined arches provide some protection for the onion crown, and the polished bezel is pared down to minimise scratches that often occur accidentally on this exposed area. At just over 39mm in diameter and 10.5mm high, we've found that Friedrich's case is very wearable on most wrist sizes. The classically styled dial is made from bright frosted silver and features black Roman numerals and markings. The small second sub dial is slightly sunken and differentiated from the main dial with a circular engraving that adds a little depth to the overall finish. The fine spade hands on this model are also rose gold and harmonise well with the case. The contrast they offer against the dial is adequate and provides good legibility. We particularly like the deliberate and exact fix of the hour and minute hand because it gives a centered aesthetic to the overall dial. Now, let's see what Langenheiner offers in terms of horological design as we flip the watch. Here we are greeted with a very generous sapphire crystal exhibition case back and a striking view to the manual in-house movement by the way, when we say in-house, you can take us literally because even the movement parts are manufactured in-house at Langenheiner and this is something their watchmakers take very seriously. Friedrich III is based on Langenheiner's Calibre 6 which retains the trigonal bridge and many of Langenheiner's signature features including flame blued screws with beveled heads they tell us that they only make 12 to 15 of these per day and golden wheels with chamfered spokes. The crowning glory in this movement, well, one of them, sits atop the lavishly engraved bridge in the form of a diamond, set to protect the tongue jewels below and ensure the sensitive pivot is resistant against shock. It's almost a shame no one will see this, but then again, the appeal is that its wearer knows it's there. To sum up Langenheiner's Friedrich III in a few words is difficult, because classic gold watches aren't for everyone. However, regardless if you'd wear this piece or not, you can't help but be spellbound by its finish, impressed with its value for money compared to some bigger brand equivalents, 
and absolutely awestruck by the technical perfection of the watchmaking that Langenheiner delivers. We can't wait to see more from this independent German brand. We hope you've enjoyed our review of Langenheiner's Friedrich III and look forward to bringing you more about time next time. Thanks for watching another Time Only Review. Time Only, the authorised Langenheiner dealer.